I can't believe it's been almost a year since I moved to Albania. It's been a crazy year for everyone, but despite this, I can still say this has been one of the best years of my life. Albania, specifically Tirana, has become my home. In this video, I want to recap the incredible year I've had here and also discuss why this country should be at the very top of your travel list. This video will be about Albania in general, but if you want to see my videos on specific locations in Albania such as Tirana, Korcha, and Vlora, then check out my YouTube channel. If you're someone that doesn't know much about Albania, I'm hoping this video will provide you with some background information, as well as with some reasons for why you should consider visiting Albania or even move here like me. If you have any questions about my personal experience here, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Also, feel free to check out my Instagram where I share more about my experiences and travels here. Okay, let's get started. Albania is a very small country, both in terms of its size and population. Actually, it's just double the size of my little home state, Connecticut, in the US. Yet the country has such a unique history. It also has stunning mountains, one of the most beautiful coastlines in Europe, incredible food, and a culture unlike anywhere else. On top of that, the country is still relatively unexplored. The tourism industry here is just starting to grow as of recently, so it's really the ideal spot to visit before it becomes too well known and potentially overcrowded and overwhelmed with tourists. To put things into context with my personal situation, I've been living here for nearly a year and despite how small a country is, I feel like there's still so many places I haven't seen yet. So I want to highlight what made my year in Albania one of the best years of my life and why I think this country is so incredible. First, I want to start by talking about the places within Albania, which are rich with history, beaches, mountains, etc. Albania has a unique history and just to try to summarize it as briefly as possible, it was first home to several Illyrian tribes during the classical times and later came under control of the Byzantine Empire until the 7th century and after that the Ottoman Empire from the 15th century until 1912. Just before World War II, the country also experienced a brief invasion by Italy. After that, Albania became a communist state from 1946 until its relatively recent fall in 1990. And the reason I'm mentioning all this is because there are plenty of remnants of history all over Albania, many of which have become preserved because of their historical value. The architecture in Albania has been heavily influenced by this history. You have cities like Jericosta and Barat that have castles, churches, and monasteries that bring to light this Byzantine and Ottoman history. You also have cities like Tirana, where I live, which illustrates the urban transformation led by Italian architects during the 18th and 19th century. The communist era also left hundreds of thousands of bunkers scattered around the country, some of which have been reconstructed into tourist attractions, such as Bunk Art 1 and 2 in Tirana. If you enjoy traveling to learn about the history and heritage of a country, it's all over Albania. A lot of these historical sites are beautiful and relatively unexplored, making them must-visit places during your trip to Albania. Next, Albania has some of the most beautiful beaches in all of Europe. If you take a drive down the Albanian Riviera, you'll come across incredible coves and some of the clearest water you've ever seen. The beaches are something that I personally want to explore more because it wasn't really till I visited Saranda and Kismil recently that I realized how beautiful they are. I wish I had vlogged my beach trips at the time, but here's some footage from my phone from our trip to Giri Corres, which is a beach in Saranda that is only accessible by either a long hike or by boat. What's nice is, although the beaches can get quite crowded during the summer, it's peaceful to visit them during the off season as well because they're relatively empty. You can also catch some amazing sunsets on the coastline. Albania also has some of the most beautiful mountains, rivers, lakes, and villages. If you travel up north to Theth or Valbona, you will experience an unbelievably peaceful getaway surrounded by the Albanian Alps. There are plenty of beautiful hikes up around there as well. What is interesting is that although a lot of cities like Tirana are quite urban, there is still a very noticeable rural culture because there are plenty of villages throughout Albania. It's in these villages where you can get away from the urbanness of the cities and spend some peaceful days with some of the freshest food and quiet surroundings. Because of the seclusion and isolation of villages like Theth that are deep into nature, these villages have also become popular sites for local tourism as well, with some Albanians traveling there during weekends to get away from the city. Whereas villages like Theth are recently becoming more popular, there are plenty of villages that are just now becoming more touristy due to their beautiful surroundings, outdoor activities, and culture. Villages such as Lepush and Vermash, I hope I'm pronouncing them right. Next, I want to talk about how good Albanian food is. There are plenty of traditional meat dishes, such as Fergus and Tavkosi, pie-like dishes such as Berek, and sweet dishes such as Trileche. I've actually made nine videos now trying to make some traditional Albanian dishes, 
So check those out if you're interested. For me personally, it's not just the traditional dishes that make the Albanian cuisine so tasty, but it's also the ingredients. After living here for nearly a year, there's nothing better than going to a restaurant in a village and enjoying dishes made with the freshest ingredients. Unlike a lot of countries that I've lived in, the fruits, vegetables, cheese, bread, etc. are often fresh and therefore have so much more flavor. Ingredients like olive oil and honey, if you get them from the village, they're always so tasty. After all my time here, I'm still learning about Albanian dishes and there are plenty that I haven't even tried yet. Not to mention the coffee here is also really good. You can find nice macchiatos and espressos all across Albania. I can go on and on about the food, but I'll move on to the last topic. And that is the people and culture of Albania. So I don't want to sound cliche and just say, oh, the people here are so friendly, just as a lot of travelers do when they visit or move to a country. But what I will say is from my personal experience, Albanian culture holds a high importance for hospitality. And generally speaking, foreigners are respected and treated very well here. I've made many friends here in Tirana and have had so many positive daily interactions with people. So I guess I'm sort of saying this cliche, but from my personal experience, it's been true. I think one thing that I really want to emphasize is that Albania is a safe country to visit. Unfortunately, I think there are some stereotypes of Albania and Albanians in some other European countries and the US. Probably these stereotypes aren't helped much by movies like Taken that show Albanians as criminals. But I won't go too much into that. But the bottom line is don't stereotype. After living here for nearly a year, I can say that the criminal stereotype is ridiculous. I've always felt safe here whether I'm just hanging out in Tirana or visiting other cities in Albania. Lastly, I want to emphasize how proud some Albanians are of their culture and of their traditions. I'll give an example from my personal experience. Within my first month here, I spent a night in the city of Korcha. I remember going out to a restaurant that had serenades. Basically, an Albanian musical group was singing old Albanian folk songs. I don't know how else to explain the atmosphere other than just by saying that it was so lively. You have tables of strangers standing up and singing along, dancing ballet together. I don't know, it's just like in that moment, you feel so much solidarity between different people that have so much pride in their culture and heritage. Obviously, I'm not saying that Albanians go out and dance ballet all the time, but what I'm trying to say is it's just special to see some people still celebrating their cultural traditions with so much pride. I'm sure Albanians themselves can elaborate more on their culture and traditions, but this is just one of my experiences as a foreigner here, which I really loved. I think weddings here are probably the prime example of this, which I have yet to experience, but I'm excited to. And this is why I'm trying to learn how to vale and also learn how to speak Albanian, but that's going to take some more time. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope that if you've never visited Albania before, then you'll consider it. Albania has so much to offer in terms of tourism. Its history, culture, places, people, and food are also incredible. As for myself, I don't have any plans to leave. I'm actually on the early stages of starting a project here, which I'll talk more about in the near future. Anyways, if you have any thoughts or comments on this video, I'd love to read them, so leave them in the comment section below. I will be visiting Jerkoster this weekend, a city that I visited a few times in the past, but I've yet to vlog there, so be on the lookout for that as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.